Welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install a pre-search node in less than eight minutes. This is a great passive income node that you can set it and forget it as this project has plans to go mainnet very soon and has tons of growth potential. This is a trimmed down tutorial and it's designed for an intermediate user, but I also have a full detailed version for beginners that outlines every single thing you need to do to get up and running. And I'll link that version in the description below. So let's get started. Step one is to set up a pre-search account. We're going to do that by going to nodes.presearch.org. Click on the join button. You're going to put in an email address. You're going to put in a password, check, check, and then sign up. Once that part is done on the right hand side, you'll have a couple options. We're going to click on manage a node. And inside here, you'll notice that we have no stake tokens and no available tokens. So we need to buy tokens. Now you can either do it directly through the website by clicking on buy pre, or you can transfer it. I was unsuccessful using my credit card. Maybe it's because I'm in Canada. If you have better luck, go ahead and you can do it there. If not, we're going to use KuCoin to purchase some pre and transfer it into our node. And I'm just going to log into my KuCoin account. Now, if you don't already have a KuCoin account, I'll link that in the description below. I'll also link two other exchanges that you can use to buy pre-search. So the first thing that we're going to need is we're going to need some USDT. If you haven't already bought some, you can go ahead and the fast buy or use the other options up here in the corner. You're going to want to buy some USDT. Now, the amount that you're going to need is 2000 to be staked. You're also going to need to cover fees that are in the transfer. The magic number I came up with is 2200. So go with that. You don't need exactly 2200, but roughly that amount. Over here at CoinMarketCap, you can see that the current price for pre-search is 34 cents. We're going to times that by 2200 and we need to get 748 USDT. So we're going to get that transferred in. So I now have USDT for my pre-search payment. I have it over here in my main account. In order for me to buy it, I have to transfer it from my main account to my trading account. So I'm going to do that right now. I'm now going to head over to spot trading and open up the training. And inside here, I'm going to look for pre slash USDT because I'm going to be making conversion from USDT to pre-search. Enter in my password. I'll be buying at market price. You can do whatever is comfortable for you. Market price has changed slightly. I'll make a quick calculation. With the current price of 34.5, I'm going to have to buy 759. Again, this is approximate. You don't have to have exactly this amount. So I'm going to put it in here and I'm going to click on buy and my order will confirm. I'm going to head back to my main account. Here is the pre and I'm ready to transfer it to my node. Next up is to create the SSH key. This is optional. You don't need to do it, but I highly recommend it. We're going to head over to putty.org and we're going to download putty. I'm going to download the 64 bit version. It's very small. And then when you're ready to install it, click on next, next and install. And when it's complete, click on finish. We'll minimize our browser. And now we're going to go to our start menu and open up putty gen. And we're going to create a key, click on generate. And over this blank space here in the center, we're just going to shaky, shaky our mouse and it's going to generate a code. So here is the code. Don't use my code. I'm not going to use this myself. This is just for an example. Now you want to create a new key phrase and then confirm the key phrase. Make sure it says RSA. Click on save public key. Give it a name. Remember the folder you saved it in. Now we're going to save a private key. We're going to do the same thing by giving it a name. Once again, remember the location that you're saving it because you're going to need to refer to it later. We're done. We've just created some SSH keys. Time to set up the server. We're going to be using upcloud.com. I'm going to put a referral link in the bottom that saves you $25. It'll help save on a few months of service. To sign up for the service, what you want to do is click on the sign up link in the corner. Then you're going to provide your account information, which is your name and phone number and email address and password and all that stuff. Then what you're going to want to do is put in your billing information. This will be required. You're going to have to spend about $5 a month. It's $5 US dollars. Once you have it completed, you can click on start now. To ensure that everything is good to go, I added $10 into my account. So I have a total of $35 in my account. It's 10 plus the $25 credit. We'll click on servers and now we're ready to deploy a server. So we'll click on the plus sign. So now you're going to want to click a server, server that's close to you. I'm going to click on US NYC because that's close to me. Scroll down a bit here. We're going to use the cheapest plan, which is a $5 plan. So we'll select that. We'll scroll down. The storage name we're going to leave as is. Automatic backups we're going to leave as is. Scroll down a bit further. We're going to make sure that we select the Ubuntu server 20.04. Go down a bit more. In the login method, we're going to select SSH keys. And now we're going to be copying in some information that we had before. So we're going to provide it a name. And I'm going to use pre-search SSH key. And now I'm going to paste in my key. Now the key is this section over here, copy, and then we're going to paste it in. 
it should be unique. You don't want anyone else having your SSH key. Then you can click on save and that's good. We can scroll down a bit further and we have a installation script. So you can use the script over here. It'll help save some time. I took the script from Andy. I'll make sure I put a link for this in the description below. In here, you're going to have to put in your registration code. So your registration code is on the pre-search dashboard. And here is the registration code. Just need to click on copy go back to the text file and then paste your code in this defined area. So now we're just gonna highlight the full section over here. We're gonna copy it, we're gonna go back to UpCloud and then we're gonna paste it in the space and then we're gonna give it a name, click on save. So anytime we wanna do this again, it's already saved here. Now what we wanna do is just give it a proper name. We can just give it something that we can identify it quickly. Now we're done and we can click on deploy. The deployments process for the server might actually take a few minutes. So right now is a good time to take your pre-search from your KuCoin account and transfer it to your dashboard of your node. To transfer our tokens, we're gonna go over to pre-search node dashboard. Inside here, we're gonna click on the transfer pre, click on blockchain, and then request deposit address. Now we get a deposit address that we can just copy right here at the bottom, click on copy. And now we can go over to KuCoin. Inside KuCoin, we're gonna select pre-search, and now we can go ahead and paste in our wallet address that we just copied. The network is the only network that's here is ERC20, which is Ethereum. And then we're gonna transfer over the maximum amount. And then we can go ahead and click on confirm. Get a security validation here. You just have to put in your security information. If you have it, then click on submit and poof, it's gone. So now it'll take a few minutes, but it'll show up in your pre-search node shortly. Just gonna refresh and here it is. So here is the pre-search tokens that we have available. So let's connect it to the node. We're at the server screen on UpCloud right now, and we can see that our server has been successfully deployed. We just need to jump back over to the pre-search node, and once it appears over here, we can go ahead and stake the coins and bring it online. It should auto-populate after it is loaded. I'm just gonna refresh my page. There we go, looks like it's done. Scroll down a bit here, and here is the server that we just set up on UpCloud. We can give it a description name. It doesn't have a name right now. Right now we have the version number. There is no pre that has been staked. We'll be doing that next. So we'll click on the pencil over here, we're ready to stake the amount. So minimum is 2,000. There's no reason to go over 2,000 or there's no benefit. So put in 2,000, you can leave the little extra just in case you need it for later on. You can now give it a name. Give it a name that's meaningful to you. I'm gonna use the same name that I have in UpCloud, which is Presearch node 001. External URL is not required. Send an email on disconnect and reconnect. That's a good idea. Check both of those. Leave it as five minutes and then you can click on update. The node has been updated and let's go back to the dashboard. And as you can see over here, we have updated the name Presearch node 001, the data was created. It is connected now. We have a version number and we can also see that we have 2000 pre-staked. Now the search and reliability scores will slowly go up over time as it starts getting used. The reliability score will be adjusted over a couple of weeks and we're done. We have our pre-search node set up using UpCloud and now you're ready to earn some passive income. I hope you found this video useful. If you're looking for the full format of this video in detailed instructions, you can check out CryptoJar. On CryptoJar, I go into extensive detail on how to set this up. I'll make sure I link that in the description below. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please smash that like button. I appreciate it, it means a lot to me. Subscribe to the channel if you're looking for other tutorials. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.